Hello and welcome to episode one of Cooking with Couchman, where we bring your favorite meals from the food truck to your kitchen. There's been a lot of change in the drum corps activity over the years, and the one thing that has remained constant throughout the decades has been the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And today I'm gonna to kind of walk you just through the basic PB&J, what I like to use, um, what you're probably gonna find on your food truck during a summer tour. So for starters, we've just got some Mrs. Baird's white bread, about as plain as it gets. It's made right here in Texas. Uh, we of course have Couchman brand peanut butter, uh, not currently for sale, but maybe one day. Probably not. And then, of course, we have Concord Grape Jelly, made by the Concord Blue Devils, because they're the best drum corps. This is, of course, the best jelly. Uh, seems logical. We're going to reach right past that end piece. Nobody wants that. That'll work. I personally like to start with peanut butter. Some people start with jelly. I think those people are weird. You want to go, of course, nice and even all the way to the edges. If you're going through a food line, you might encounter, if you're taking particularly a long time spreading out your peanut butter, you might get called a sandwich artist. And I personally take a lot of offense to that because I think we should take our PB&J as seriously as we do our field show. You know, we take a lot of pride in the music we play, the drill that we march, we should take a lot of pride in our food too. So if somebody calls you a sandwich artist, just tell them to step off. Um, next up, we've got our jelly. And then again, I'm just gonna spread it nice and evenly. And then of course, you can just stick them together. And there you go, PB and J. Now today is actually kind of a special day. Um, June 1st is National Donut Day. And so I'm gonna tell you how to turn this PB&J into a donut-shaped PB&J. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need is just a normal sized cup and then a smaller cup or like a cookie cutter. I've got a little plastic shot glass that'll work just fine. And what I'm gonna do is just cut out a circle with the cup. Then you've got a nice patty shaped sandwich and then you're just going to cut a hole out of the center. Look at that. PB&J donut hole. And then you have a lovely donut shaped peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 